stayed at the most relaxing place on Bowen Island. Located on Bowen Island, just a short 20 minute ferry ride from the mainland of Vancouver, is one of the most amazing places to relax and recharge away from the busyness of life. Today I'm going to show you why your next trip should be to Nectar Yoga on Bowen Island. Like I previously mentioned, Bowen Island is just a 20 minute ferry ride from the Horseshoe Bay Terminal in Vancouver. Once you arrive and drive off the ferry, you're immediately in the heart of the town. One thing you'll notice right away as you drive through it, is there are no mainstream restaurants or coffee shops anywhere here on the island. Instead, the town has a ton of locally owned and operated restaurants who grow or locally source 90% of their menu, which makes for a very authentic dining experience. Not to mention, all of the food here was incredible. Located about 10 minutes from the town is Nectar Yoga, where my wife Jamie and I stayed while on Bowen Island. Nectar sits on a 20-acre forested property, which is completely private and completely peaceful. The property includes three A-frames, three deluxe cottages, a tiny home, a yoga dome, and a main lodge and we were fortunate enough to get a tour of each. When you arrive at Nectar, you'll make your way to the guest check-in. Here, you'll be politely greeted by one of the staff members and receive an overview of what your stay will include, where everything on the grounds are located, and some insight as to what to do if you choose to explore around Bowen Island. After a brief tour of the grounds, you'll receive your keys to your new home away from home. The first cottage we toured was the Opal A-frame. As I said before, there are three available to choose from, each of them with the same layout and interior space. These are designed to sleep one guest, so for those of you who are on a solo island experience, this is for you. Each A-frame includes a double bed, fresh toiletries, and a guest welcome package as well. The A-frames may be a small footprint, but the peaked ceilings and large window makes the space feel warm, bright, and open. Just a few steps away, you'll find access to a detached bathroom space which includes a shower as well as natural locally made toiletries. The next cottage we toured was the Moonstone Tiny Home. Walking inside, you'll enter what we refer to as the mini mudroom. Here, you'll have a place to kick off your shoes hang your coat, cool off some beverages, and use the home's washroom. Beyond the mini mudroom is the main living area of the tiny home, and this space is one of the coziest spaces we've had the pleasure of walking through. Here, you'll get a king-size bed and can sleep up to two guests. The room features a place to hang and store clothing, some books offered by Nectar, and a guest welcome package outlining your stay. Along this wall is one of the best spaces in the home because of the floor-to-ceiling windows and the amount of natural light you get coming in. In front of the windows are a couple reading chairs as well as a TV. My favorite part about this tiny home is located on the outside. Stepping out the back door, you arrive on your private deck which includes this, a private outdoor shower. There's nothing better than finishing a relaxing day taking a hot shower in the wilderness. And after your shower, you can continue enjoying the view on these chairs which overlook the surrounding forest. The final place we toured was the cottage we stayed in, the Quartz Cottage, which is one of the most unique cottages we've ever stayed in. Up these stairs, you'll find a covered patio area and the entrance to your private oasis. This room included a king bed as well as a reading nook in front of this huge window. The room also had fresh water on each nightstand for us, a mini fridge with a kettle and assorted teas, a smart TV, and a guest welcome package located on a desk in the corner of the room. Beyond the main room of the cottage was this bright spacious bathroom. In here were his and hers sinks, towels, and more locally made toiletries. Moving forward was the rest of the bathroom which held the toilet and a large glass shower. But of course, my favorite part again was just outside this door, another outdoor nature shower. Included with your accommodation at Nectar, you also receive breakfast each morning. And one of the best things about waking up in the morning here was not having to worry about what to do for breakfast. 
The staff each day created the most delicious and nutritious spread of food for the guests, which always left us feeling full, healthy, and happy. The lodge serves as both a place to eat, as well as a place to work and sit quietly in front of these large windows. The room is carefully laid out to provide maximum comfort while you sit and take it all in. One of the coolest aspects of this space is a canvas of the grounds they've hung on the wall here. They provide paint and brushes to any of the guests who would like to participate in filling the canvas with color wherever they like. I thought this was super unique and something I've never seen before. Something that turned out to be one of the best experiences here was the daily yoga held in this yoga dome. Each morning before breakfast we would wake up and make our way to the dome. I'm not someone who regularly participates in yoga but the instructors offered amazing direction and made this space not only simple but very enjoyable for me as a beginner. They offer group classes as well as private classes which are all held here in the warmth of the crackling fireplace. If you're hesitant on trying this, I strongly encourage you to give it a shot. It's super relaxing and very refreshing. However, if you're limited to what you can do physically, this isn't mandatory and you can enjoy your stay here without partaking in the yoga classes. The grounds also include walking trails, a variety of seating spaces, and a gift shop where you can pick up any of the locally made soaps and souvenirs. If you are interested in learning more about Nectar Yoga, I've included their website in the description below along with their booking link. If you're in the area of Vancouver, BC for a few days and need a quiet place to regroup, this is definitely one of the highest on our recommended places to stay. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.